In Chicago, world leaders continue a second day of meetings for the NATO summit. In a declaration issued Sunday, NATO said it would continue to play a role in Afghanistan after combat operations end in 2014. The alliance also commended its role in Libya and said it's contributing to peace and security in the Horn of Africa. But protesters gathered in the streets of Chicago have a different view. They condemned militarism and called on the US to end its wars. From Chicago, Lisa Matuska reports. Thousands of people marched two miles to Chicago's McCormick Place Convention Center, where the heads of NATO were discussing the next steps in international war and funding the military alliance. Protesters were led by Iraq veterans against the war, and the crowd included local residents and activists from across the world, all marching for a variety of issues including environmental justice, immigrant rights, and anti-capitalist movements. Ben Schatt is with the Chicago group The Coalition Against Corporate Higher Education, who marched with a student in a cap and gown, dragging a giant ball of student debt. It's not only a huge burden on individual students, it doesn't only decrease access to higher education for low and middle income families, but like the mortgage crisis, it represents a drag on the economy as a whole. And I think we're going to continue to see the kind of economic, uh, desperate economic straits that we've seen for the last several years until problems like uh, student debt are addressed. Baltimore activist Vermin Supreme marched down the street with a boot on his head, conducting what he called clown warfare. I'm attempting to change the, the mood in various uh, points uh, when things get very tense, trying to de-escalate it through uh, humorous commentary, um, trying to empower the people, uh, trying to let them know everything's okay. Supreme says he was at an anti-capitalist demonstration Saturday night where he witnessed the protester being struck by a Chicago police car. According to Chicago street medics, the injured protester was taken to the hospital for injuries and then arrested. But Supreme says many police have shown restraint. They've let the people march and march and march and march. Um, you know, overall, I think they've showed restraint. But I mean, what is restraint other than just simply obeying the order from your uh, uh, uppers not to do mass arrests? I mean, you know. And tensions did grow Sunday night. Just after the official rally ended and people were to disperse west, a group of protesters, largely made up of the Black Bloc anarchist group, began shouting, NATO's East. The group began pushing towards the police, who responded with violence, leaving groups of protesters bleeding from baton blows to the head. Several officers were also injured, including one who was stabbed in the leg, according to Chicago police chief. Lines about four people deep of blue-helmeted police pushed lingering protesters to the west. Police gave orders for protesters to move over loudspeaker devices called LRADs, or Long Range Acoustic Devices, which Chicago police acquired specifically for the summit. This is the Chicago Police Department. Please continue to disperse to the west. The device is also capable of making a high-pitched noise that is unpleasant to the human ear. And many protesters on the sidewalk and streets were concerned the police would use these to disperse the crowds, but the tactic was not used. The local chapter of the National Lawyers Guild said about 70 were arrested, most of whom have been released, some without charge. Others received misdemeanors, ordinance violations, and failure to disperse violations. Demonstrations continued today, including a small group that marched to Boeing's headquarters. Lisa Matuska, FSRN, Chicago.